so in this video we will see different steps to fix outlook not opening problem so let's say if you are not able to open outlook or if it's stuck in loading profile state or if it just says processing then you can try these eight steps to solve the problem So the first step is to open Outlook in online mode. So for that, go to control panel. Then search for mail. Open the mail applet, then go to email accounts. And here you will see the option use cached exchange mode. So right now this option is checked and since this is checked, uh, Outlook is trying to open the OST file. So we will uncheck this option. So uncheck it and then click next and finish. And now the Outlook will open in online mode instead of using the OST file. So after opening at the bottom you will see online with Microsoft Exchange. So that means Outlook is open successfully in online mode. So it's not using OST file. The second step is to try uh, open Outlook in safe mode. So for that open run prompt and type Outlook forward slash safe so safe mode will disable all the add-ins so whatever add-ins uh, which are added in outlook those add-ins will not load and outlook will try to open without loading any add-ins If the Outlook opens in safe mode, then at the top, you will see uh, Microsoft Outlook in bracket safe mode. If it opens in safe mode, then close Outlook and then reopen it in normal mode. So the third step is to try uh, resetting navigation pane. So again, open run prompt type outlook forward slash reset nav pane so this will reset the navigation pane for outlook the fourth step is to re-download ost file so for that go to app data go to local microsoft outlook and here you will see your ost file rename the ost file add uh, dot old in the end and now try to start outlook so now when you will start the outlook it will uh, download the OST file again. Okay, so now the OST file is downloaded again. So this will uh, solve the problem if there's any problem in the OST file. The fifth step is to remove any PST files and shared mailboxes. So go to control panel. Go to mail. Then first go to data files. In data files, if you see any PST file, then remove those PST files.
because when you're opening Outlook, uh, those PST files are also getting loaded in Outlook. And then go to email accounts, more settings, then in advanced you will see any shared mailboxes that you have added. So these shared mailboxes are also loaded when uh, Outlook opens. So you can remove those. And then after removing PST files and shared mailboxes, you can try to open Outlook. The sixth step is to open Outlook in new profile. So again, go to control panel. Go to mail, show profiles and click on add. So we will create a fresh profile for Outlook. After the profile is created, then uh, from the drop down, it says always use this profile. So from the drop down, select new profile. And then open Outlook. So now Outlook will open uh, in the new profile instead of the old one. seventh step to try is to delete all profiles from registry so if nothing else works then you can try this step so open registry editor then go to current user software microsoft office 16 then outlook and in outlook you will see uh, the profiles that you have created for so you can delete all those profiles one by one so right click and click on delete and then open outlook so now it will prompt you to create the new profile because you have deleted all profiles. And then create a new profile and hopefully it should load in the new profile. If none of these seven steps work, then the last step, eighth step would be to repair office and then restart the computer so go to control go to programs programs and features and then you will see uh, office suite in the programs list so click that click on change And then you will have the option as repair. So select a repair and click continue. And then it will take few minutes to repair office suite. Once uh, office suite is repaired, then you can restart computer and then try to open Outlook. 